What's the worst part of depression? Missed opportunity. Time evaporating. Knowing there's a treatment, TMS, that got me from being bedbound to traveling across the country in 2019 to watch my daughter graduate college. But because of physical illnesses, I crashed after traveling, so my ratings scores weren't officially 50% improved. So now insurance won't cover e-treatment. So I lie in my bed for a week straight, watching the sunlight try to seep through my closed blinds, wishing I could gather the strength to go outside. Today I was closing my bedroom window and the warmth of the sun felt so good on my hand, but I couldn't make it beyond my bedroom. F you Etna. Edit, added seep through, closed, blinds. My head hurts. My heart hurts. People tell me to reach out or I do when I'm breaking down. But it always feels like the longer my suffering lasts the more desensitized they get. I've already heard how long I'm a supposed to wait for you to come back, to get better. All this turmoil I feel. And now I feel like I can't show signs of it or it'll push away those closest to me. Five years depression free and now I'm sinking. Out of fucking nowhere and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm trapped. I'm drowning. And I'm just expected to know what to do and keep up with all my other relationships and if I don't I'm the let down. Fucking hate life. Fucking hate going to work. Fucking hate the looks I get from certain people in my life. But I'm the failure. I'm taking too long because I don't even know what the fuck is wrong with me. Fuck this place. Five years of staying sober and building my financial value all for what? A dead end job and a home where I feel unwanted. Fuck this world and fuck this consciousness of mine. When you gain consciousness before your eyes open in the morning and you know you have to do it all over again and that nothing has changed from yesterday. Having to force yourself to do what anyone else would think are everyday normal activities. I don't want to shower, eat, walk, talk, make my bed, etc. It takes every single ounce of energy inside of me to even get out of bed. Waking up and not wanting to experience the next day. I don't currently have depression but I'd say I was in my feels for a while a few years back. For me it was just the lethargy. I still struggle with it at times. I know I'll have to do something but can't find it in me to do it. Shower, laundry, clean, eat. Whatever. I know I have to do it, but I can just maybe do it later. One moment life is fine and the next you yearn intensely for the past, feel completely hopeless about the future and feel like you have no one in the present. To me, the lost time. Five to six years of my early twenties spent doing fuck all. The point where you accept it's the only real curse this world has and you decide to live with it, that's kinda how I'm going through it, and have been for the past few years. Psych depression is among the most treatable psych diagnoses. For many people, it responds to any form of therapy. If you need someone to pull you out, look for clinics attached to universities and medical systems in your area. Not saying this will do for everyone, but you do have options. That it's a viscous cycle. Depression leads to inaction which makes you more depressed and feeling lousy about yourself which leads to more inaction which... People telling me it's a disorder and not a completely reasonable and understandable response to the weight of existence. For me the fact that I feel that it'll never truly go away. Being afraid it will never end. It robs you of the motivation, energy, and basic sense of self-worth that you need in order to do things that would improve your motivation, energy, and sense of self-worth. The constant hopeless feeling, frowning face, frowning face, frowning face. The constant self-doubt and thinking everyone hates you. How exhausting it is. No matter how much you sleep and eat and take care of yourself, you're still tired every moment. It's always there. Even on the good days, it's always lingering, looming, waiting. The loneliness. You can have friends, a supportive family or even a so if you're lucky. But deep inside your heart, something's missing. Something essential. And it seems like nothing can fill that up. Your mind is clouded with thoughts that nothing will ever be okay, sinking you deeper into it. 
grayness, unresolved anger and emotions holding you hostage every night. Losing routine in all areas in life, things genuinely become gray and losing ties with your identity you've grown up with as a kid. My push through was getting out and getting a job, slowly and then speedily over the years that has put routine and life back on track. I hope that gives anyone who ever feels like this some hope. The feeling alone apart is the hardest. When work is all you have. You need money to live but work is a contributing factor to your depression. On top of that it's the only thing that gave you self-worth and purpose before but just beats you now. Waking up in the morning. Wanting help and not getting it 99% of the time. When you know you need help, but can't ask friends or family. Either they're having their own issues or they tell you to get over it. Ending up feeling like just a burden to everyone around you. The fact that you have no motivation to do anything. That it doesn't seem to end. And recently I read an article that people who experience it have a chance to go through it their entire lives even if their circumstances change for the better. The fact that if left untreated, it actually reaches a point where it hurts others instead of oneself. Not caring about being depressed. I just don't care enough. I know I'm losing my life and letting my grades slip and my friends go, but I just can't care. It doesn't matter, even when I know it should. Parents. Just, parents. Parents who will never understand, who make negative assumptions, who don't take it seriously, who are in denial, who if they are the cause will never admit it, will punish you for wanting to not be around what causes it, etc. And hashtag X200B. That or the social stigma of if you have depression then clearly you're gonna break and commit a felony. Hopelessness. When you hate yourself and there is nothing else in your life that matters. Then you just spiral out of control just hoping you'll die somehow. That's not very much fun. It's never ending. Having it be hard to feel emotion, even when you genuinely love something or someone, you could love someone with your entire heart and yet still feel numb to that. Even on antidepressants. This is my own personal experience, it's either people always saying there's no such thing as depression. And they're just being overdramatic. And why are they sad all the time? Or it's the fact that I feel like I can't talk to anyone, and no one gets it if I do talk to them. I'm too scared to ask my parents for therapy. As some recovering and being weaned off SSRIs, everything. Even getting better sucks a wet blanket. Addictions with the just littlest things you find yourself doing constantly that makes you feel bad. Everyone thinking you're lazy when you physically cannot find a way to get out of bed. The excitement you get when things feel good, feel back on track, when you feel like yourself and start enjoying life. And then the symptoms come back. Every damn time. And each time it's worse because you lose hope. Finding help, getting off the couch to get the help, then applying the help is really freaking hard, stressful and exhausting, and every time it feels like it's working I get so excited just to be disappointed again. Just ask for help. Reach out to loved ones. Talk to your doctor. Well I have. And yet. Here we are years later still fighting every damn day. You can't plan for anything. Everything can be going great with my job, school, relationship and I'll with a schedule that I love, then all of the sudden I'll wake up incapable to live my normal life or even get out of bed. Then having to explain why I'm acting like a different person to the people I love is always taxing. The fact that no one actually gives a shit about you. The worst part of my depression is that I truly believe in my heart I'm worthless and nobody really gives a fuck about me no matter what I do and I know I'm right. When I feel like I'm shutting down and don't want to, but also kind of want to. Then you just get stuck in that tug of war between yourself. And that inner voice that can be annoying and appear at the worst times ever. I keep making lists of my goals and dreams. Each time I get a little closer. Sometimes I can't read my handwriting. I only have enough energy to drag myself to work and be normal. Pretty much still a failure at everything but I keep trying by writing lists of what I want to do over and over on little pieces of paper, some digitized now as the years went by. 
hoping one day that I'll be able to cross a few more things off my list. Still being alive. For me it's the impact on other people. Like those who love me are always trying to help me and want me to feel like myself again and I can tell it takes a toll on them to be trying so hard and not get anywhere. It makes me feel incredibly guilty. The depression part. Losing your desire to stay clean and hygienic. I lost my love for playing music. Can't even bother to tune my guitar any nor. The long hours. The worst part is that it never gets better for long. How much I thank the heavens that I have enough self-respect to move to the bathroom when I have to use it, and how much I wonder how long that will take to leave me. The depression. Not even being sure if any joy is real, or if you're just on some high that is bound to crash. There is nothing as weird as your brain sabotaging your emotions and making you miserable without you knowing how to shut it off or what turned it on in the first place. It is desperate confusion and unexplained heartache with no rational conclusion or end in sight.